Doctor Who, The Smugglers, Episode 2 Pike's Cabin Doctor, I can't, can I tell you, I can't tell you nothing, sir. Cheer up. There he talked, Captain, I saw them. Holly Joe, Holly Joe whispered in his ear, secret-like. Doctor, I don't know this Holy Joe that you keep referring to. Pike, Holy Joe Longfoot, an old shipmate of ours, blast his eyes. Cherub, the church warden, to you, store bones. Doctor, he was a member of your crew? Pike, him and me and Cherub was all mates together, serving under Avery. Doctor Avery? Cherub, I, Captain Avery, the sharpest skipper that ever sailed out of Bristol Port. Pike, I, and no one of the blackest, blackest. Morgan was a woman aside him. Doctor, of course, of course, or Avery the parrot, I should have known. Cherub, don't come innocent with us, saw bones. You know what Job was hiding. Pike, he took plunder that was rightfully ours. We mean to get it back, and you may lay to that. Cherub, he died before he talked to me, but he told you something, Pike. you going to tell us, aren't you? Aye, aye. Cherub, oh, let him, me make him talk, Captain. Pike, old man. You are truly a sawbones. Doctor, I would advise you, you to use the correct terms, sir. I am a doctor. Pike, well, doctor, you had best start using your cleverness. So talk before I let Cherub have thee. Shall let me show him first, Captain? Aye, let me give him a taste of Thomas Tickler. Pike, he'll be credit to your trade, would Cherub, doctor. A touch like an angel's wing he has with that blade. Cherub was sharp as a whistle, it is. Ever ever, ever seen a head with no ears, sawbones? Aye. Oh, what that and them Mexican Indians can do to bloke's eyelids? Aye. Tell the you vicious fellow, get him off my back. Cherub, don't talk to me like that. Oh, Captain, give me a word. Just give me one minute. I'll have the word spilling out of him like a blubber. Oh, well, Dyke, well, Doctor, will you loosen your tongue or lose it altogether? Gold jail. So, Ben and Polly have been locked up in the village jail. Ben, oh, all, of all the blooming fixes to be in, Polly, I don't know, I find it pretty exciting. Ben, oh, you would. You don't, but I don't go bomb on this type tune. I can't well report back to the 17th century Navy. Play, oh, you've got no imagination. What's your trouble? What's your trouble? It's great. Ben, oh, great. Stuck in jail for murder. Oh, honest. Who would have our luck? Polly. The point is, how on earth are we going to get out of here? There must be some way. Ben. Well, then, where do we have better be? I'm not going to swing for that old nut case at church. Polly, Ben. Ben, what? Polly, look at the corner. It's a rat. Ben, oh, shut up, screaming, you big eared baby, be quiet. Polly, oh no, I can't bear them. Oh, please do something about it. Oh no, I hate. Tom appears in the window of the door. Tom, what's you screaming for? Ben, oh, nothing. We're just happy to make. That's all. Polly, what's your name? Didn't we see you in the inn? Tom, the name's Tom. I've been put in charge of you prisoners. I got the keys, but I'm not to speak with you murderers. Ben, but we didn't kill him. Tom, you're a stranger killed the church one. You strangers. Ben, but we're not the only ones. What about the geezers who kidnapped the doctor? Tom, no one else has seen them. Polly, but they were, were there. How else do you suppose the doctor would disappear? Ben, oh, you daft nit. What did he think it was? Magic? Ben. Polly, Ben, what, that's it? Ben, I, I, what is Polly, in the 17th century, they were terribly suspicious. You still believed in witches, Ben. So you're going, what are you going to do? Fly out here on a flu sick? Polly, no. But I think I've got a plan. Wait, look. If we get this straw, oh no, it's the rats in the corner. You get me some straw, will you please? Outside the room, keep her. Keep her, keep her. It's urgent business to attend to. He locks up the inn and hurries to the harbour. He boards a small boat and bar- rows towards the black albatross, Pike's cabin. 
The doctor is managing to maintain a brave face in spite of Cheryl's heavy handed threats, doctor. I am to reveal something of what I know. Then I demand consideration, sir. Cheryl, don't listen to him, Captain. There is trickery afoot. Doctor, oh, I find you a friend rather bore. I think a, I think a gentleman. So let us talk like gentlemen. Chair, Captain. Pike, what makes you think I like, I, I like the gentleman? I, so the world is quite obvious to perceive eyes, perceptive eyes, sir. Your dress, your manner, your taste. Yes, you're the type of man who's raised himself to be exalted position. I needed. Uh huh. Pike, I, this, this to help, this is to help me. That, oh, quite so, quite so. But you, neither barbarian nor savage, I can see that. Cherub, oh, Pike. Pike, Cherub, you've got a funny sense of humour. Cherub, oh, you, Captain. Pike, well, Doctor, you sweet talk, but don't toy with me, or you'll rule it. Doctor, my dear sir, I'm sure you can quickly see through my any flattery of mine. Pike, oh, I, indeed, I could. Doctor, so let's talk like men of the world. Be elegant, and with dignity. To, to Pike, talk away. Doctor, may I sit down? Chair, beware his tongue, Captain. Pike, make way for the doctor, you swab. Doctor, thank you, my man. Pike, chair, I'm entertaining a guest. You ain't being very polite. Chair, be a snake, Captain. Pike, one more word out of you and I slit your gizzard, right? Now let us talk together like gentlemen, eh, Doctor? Doctor, thank you. No, that would indeed be pleasant. Pike, why in chair up the belt the doctor talk more freely? Doctor, one more thing before we go any further. Pike, I, Doctor, now that we understand each other, I think it would be only fair that if I impart the information you require, I should see some more, some small reward. Pike, I, you get your reward, never fear. Doctor, in fact, a share. Pike, a share? Doctor, in, yes, indeed, yes. After all, my dear Captain, thank you. There's uh, quite enough to go round. Is there not? Pike, a them that deserves it, I well. Doctor, well, there's a, he is to be a, to a better acquaintance. Mm? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, a very fine old Madeira. Yes, indicted of your general taste, sir, if I may so. Say so. Pike, I, you may say so. Now tell us what we want to know. A bird, say the birds is in and out and out. You tell, his name tells of his origins, Pike. What, Jamaica, Captain, boat to leeward, Pike, coming up this sly, is she? Jacob, oh, geez, as a shout, all friendly. Much the Cherub, we got no friends hereabouts, Pike, aye, Cherub. Ask him kindly step aboard a while, Cherub, what then, Captain? Pike, if it's a revenue man, you can have him. Pike leaves. Pike, and just in case you're their friends of ours, Doctor, Jamaica? Jamaica, Captain? Pike, take my guest to the gallery. Give him food and wine. He's precious. Jamaica, aye, Captain. Ghoul, ghoul sale. Pen. Okay, Polly, here goes, Ben. Right, Ben knocks on the door. Ben, Tom, Thomas, me old mate. Tom, come quick, quick, Tom, quick. Tom, oh, what's the, your noise for now? Ben, Tom, you can see Paul, Paul, uh, Paul, Paul hit there. Tom, I? Ben, well, quick, Tom, open the door. Come in and help me. Quick, Tom, open the door. Polly's made a straw dog, but she swings to and fro, with every appearance of having gone into a trance. Tom enters the cell. Tom, what's that? What's he doing? Ben, you see, Tom? Paul, Tom? Well, he's, he's the gibbet. Tom, huh? Ben, he's been took over, Tom, by the spirit of his master. Tom, no such things ain't to be, no such things ain't to be seen by human souls. Ben, his master, Tom, a bloke that was kidnapped, he's a warlock. But Tom, a warlock? Heaven save us. Ben, not us, Tom, you. Tom, me? Ben, the old doctor's wizard, I don't know this. Tom, and us two his apprentices. Tom, you got the power? Then we have, Tom, from your master. Now you see the gibbet. You see the fellow that's swinging here? Tom, that's a doll, just a straw doll. 
Ben, I'm sure, mate. But it's more than that, because it's got a soul. Someone else's soul. Ben, no. Tom, no. Ben, it's uh, your master, Tom. He's captured the soul. To Ben, it's our master, Tom. He's captured the soul of someone. He holds responsible for us being here. He's going to do him in. Tom, well, he ain't me. I ain't. But looking after ye, Ben, but there's one, there's, but there's one hair from your head inside the doll, Tom. Tom, no. Ben, can you feel yourself swinging? Tom, it ain't my fault. It was a squire that ordered it. But it's too late, Tom. If you're the, if you there swinging, and a minute the doll's gonna fall. When it does, Tom, oh, sir, see me, see me. I swear it ain't my lord doing. Ben, is that the truth, Tom? Tom, I, oh, sir, it is. See me, see me. Tom, tell me what. Tom, there is a way. Ben, there is a way. Tom, tell me, sir. I'll do anything. Ben, the spell can only work if, I, if we held prisoners. Now, if we were free, Tom, but, but, sir, I gave my word to Master Keeper. Put away wells again. Ben, quick, Tom. Before the doll falls, your time's up this minute. Quick. Tom, no, oh, sir, sir, I do it. I do it. Wait a minute, sir, I free you. Oh, sir, have pity, have mercy. Well, well done, Tom. We have put a good word in for your mate. Tom, sir, as I am safe now, Polly, take this, Tom, while you hold it, and my master will know you and nothing will happen. Ben, come on, Polly. See you sometime, old, old, old son. Hey, remember, from now on, you're one of us. Come on, this way. Gold house. Ben. Polly. Ben. Where on earth do we go from here? Ben. Well, you got... It's not the inn, that's for sure. Polly, I haven't got the faintest idea where the doctor is. Ben, I know. we tried try the old church. Yes. Polly, yes, that should be safe enough. Ben, we might pick up some kind of clue there. Polly, there may be... A, a maybe find out who really killed this church warden. Ben, yeah... Come on, down here. Back on the trust deck. Cherub welcomes their uninvited guest aboard. Cherub, and just who is this we have the pleasure of welcoming him aboard at? Capia. Jacob Capia is the name. Innkeeper. Come to talk business, Cherub. Oh, and how would you know of our business, are you, matey? Keeper. It's more than the manner of put, putting business in your way, Cherub. And what would an innkeeper want with an honest sailor's? McKeeper, no, no, master. That would be your skipper's ears, if you just listen to that. Keeper slips Cherub a gold coin. Cherub, sound like you might be interested. Cherub, Keeper, it'd be worth his while. Well. Cherub, come aboard, below me. But belay any tricks, aye, Mr. Keeper. Pike's cabin, a knock on the door. Pike, enter. Cherub, a visitor, Captain, who says he talks of business. Pike, business, Keeper. Aye, oh, business of interest of merchant like yourself, sir. And we'll, to your mutual benefit, Kurt Pike, aye. Keep it brandy silks, perhaps. Or should I call it merchandise? Cherub sounds dishonest, Captain. Pike, aye, it does. By Morgan's beard, keep it. Any man who knows such business dishonest will be revering his man, Pike spits. Pike, Mr. Master Innkeeper. I like a law, I keep a lower body ship here, and a clean one, keep it. And nobody who doubts that, Captain. Pike, and I have ears on any man who thinks he'll land me before a judge. Keep it all the heaven prefers of us. Pike, but I'm willing to do business with any swab I can trust and who trust me. Keep it trust? Aye, if there's smuggling be done. Pike, so what's your business? I know more of this before I drop anchor here. So talk up, man. Keep it. If I give not give details until we shake hands on it. I tell you, we, 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 we are well supported. Pike, why not prejudice, prejudice my good name? Keep here, would you throw in a little lot with the squire? A church own I? Pike, maybe. Cherub steps forward and pin, pinions uh, keep his arms. Pike, and not with a scum like you, keep here. What trick's this, Pike? The choicest apples top of the barrel, green keeper. I mind a word for the squire of yours, keep here. I speak to him. You're no business about me. Pike, but if he, you, he does, if he does me, else there'd be another corpse put ashore with John Lilford. I, Cherub. 
Terrible indeed, Captain. Terrible Longfoot, the church wouldn't. You killed him. What for? Pike, because he crossed me. That's why. And nobody who crosses Pike lives to tell the tale. Keep here, you, Captain Pike? Pike, Jamaica. There's more of this than we reckoned. Why, cherub, cherub. Indeed, there is, Captain. Jamaica, Captain? Pike, thanks a doctor, Jamaica. Jamaica, yes, sir, keep here. What would you, why sh- should you come here? Break your tongue. Is nigh as long as your ears is in keep. Careful you don't cut them short, will ya? We're going ashore, Cherub. Cherub, what about that old sawbounds, Captain? Pike, when we come back, then is mine. Then is time. You and sawbounds both guests of mine until we turn. Jacob appears with the doctor. Pike takes down a fearsome cast of nine tails from a hook on the wall, Pike. Treat them name well and kindly, Jamaica. But is any funny business? Why well, use this on them? Jamaica sure, sir, Captain. Church crypt. Finding the church empty, Ben and Polly go down into the crypt. Ben, well, there's not much down here. Polly, there's nothing up the vestry. We've searched that thoroughly enough, Ben. You know, the old boy must have been bumped off pretty soon off we left. Polly, Ben, perhaps the murderer was hiding down here. All the time, Ben, yeah, perhaps, yes, yeah, could be, Polly moans, Ben, maybe we kept, kept his money box down here, or something, Polly, what? Oh, yes, he did look like a bit of screw, didn't he? Ben, well, he was dead scared of something, I know that. Polly, yes, he was, as though he was never, as though he was even expecting something to happen. But, um, yeah, hey, Polly, Polly, what, where are you? But listen, maybe the murderer will come back to the scene of the crime, Polly. Oh, no. Mm, shut up, Ben. You are a fool, Ben. Yeah, maybe you're right. Duchess, early days for Sherlock Holmes, I suppose. But yeah, well, I'm not playing that with that about his name. What sense are you? Oh, dear. I wish we knew, we knew where the doctor was. Ben, yeah, and the TARDIS too, in fact. I know him. I bet he's back in it all comfy, Ben, Polly. Do you think so? Well, then, we'll have a jolly well get, got to get back, find the tidies too. Ben, yeah, it's not such a bad idea. The beach ain't far from here. Come on, a rumbling, grinding sound stops Ben and Polly in their tracks. Ducking down to hide, they watch as one of the tombs swings aside. A dark, cloaked figure emerges from a hidden passageway. As a man passes by, Ben knocks into the ground. Ben, got ya. Boy, Ben, do you think it's the murderer? Ben, I'm not list- stopping to find out. Tie him up first and take ask questions after, love. Polly, listen, if this is the murderer, then we're, we're in the clear. Then if we tell the squire, now he will help us to find the doctor. Ben, oh, I'm not so sure. He's a bit, he, he was a bit thick-headed. That squire, too much like petty officer, my liking. Polly, yeah, but I never find the doctor without help. Only he can work the TARDIS. Ben, yeah, I see what you mean. I don't fancy getting stuck in this with this lot for good. But listen, you stay and guard him. I'll go to the square and get tell him we caught him. Shall I? Ben, well, I haven't better, I haven't. I better go. Ben, oh, no, no, I don't like it down here. Ben, okay, okay. Look, Polly, don't tell him about what that I. Polly, no, right. Don't suppose it'd be like, it'll be long. Ben, Polly, take care, love. Back albatross deck. Pike, what do you think, you cherub? Do I look presentable? Cherub, as, as a picture, Captain. But for, for what? Pike, yes, my little Pike. Will Ali be welcome at the manor? Aye. Pike removes his hook and go, gives it to the cabin boy. Pike, lad, lad, take care of that till I get back. Cherub, ready there below? Church crib. Ben removes the gag for the bound man. Ben. All right, mate, let's hear what you have got to say yourself, Blake. Untie me at once, you rogue. Do you not know who I am? Ben will tell me. Pike. I am Joseph Pike, the King's Revenue Officer. Ben. Oh, yeah, prove it. Blake. Well, I word should be enough. Ben. Well, not for me. It's not, mate. Blake, untie me this instant. 
But I'm not sorry, old son. But I'm not taking any risks. You may be what you say, but then again, you may not. Blake, and who are you, sir? Pray tell me that. Ben, well, I'm just a sailor. I ain't got nabbed for the murder of the church one, which I did not do. And so you turned up on the scene of the crime. I sub reckon you were a good suspect. Blake, I'm here in the pursuit of my duty. Ben, oh, and what's that? Blake, I am after the smugglers. I think I found the route they were using. Blake, I. Blake, that's a passageway. Ben, oh, sure, I suppose the church was one of them. Blake, hmm? Ben, pull the other one, mate. It rings. Blake, what? Say you? Ben, I'll oh, forget it. Blake, oh, but this is this is so. I tell you the truth. The church one was suspected. Ben, I, Blake, I was hoping to confront the villain with the evidence of that passageway. But now he's dead. Ben, oh, you slumped. You ain't got no proof, Blake. No proof, but plenty. The tunnel leads through a series of caves down to the beach. Ben, down to the beach. Blake, I. Ben, you brought me good news, mate. Blake, oh, hi. Where are you going? Ben, well, just for a look. Won't be long. Blake, hey, come back here. Stop in the king's name. Squares Hill. Pike and Cherub wait to see the master of the house. Pike is style. Cherub style. Cherub, this would fetch a pretty penny. Pike, belay that, that don't. Do you are honest, man, remember? Now, here's your plan. We'll find out all we need to know about the, these little villains. Cherub smugglers, huh? Pike, and we'll take their store and find you his treasure, and this is the bargain. Squire Mansfield Birch. Shows them into the study. Squire's study, squire. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning to you. Will you take wine with me? Pike, nay, nay, sir, squire. We come on the matter of business. Squire, business? So early in the day? What well, could you be so urgent so early, Pike? We're sent by your friend. Squire, friend? Chub, Chub, keeper. Squire, Jake, keeper? Aye, that's, then you must be... Pike merchants, sir, honest merchant, squire. Be my favourite mayor. Well, that's witty business indeed. Pike, the only very word keeper used himself, sir. Cherub, I. Well, I, there is the fellow. Should we not be handling this affair? You not handling this affair? Cherub, I, he, that he is, sir. He's back on the ship accounting. I'm marrying various, various merchandise. Pike, aye, such silk, such brandy and tobacco. Aye, cat, squire, indeed, squire. Ah, oh, this is worthy a toast, gentlemen. I assist you drinking me brandy. Ah, oh, silks and tobaccos. Well, there's a fine cargo and a gallant captain. Pike, and here's to good flavorful and no tales told. Chairman, I so say I. Pike, forgive him, sir, squire. And I his fellow but unused to the ways of gentlefolk. Squire, well, that's no consequence, no consequence. Pray, have you breakfasted? Pike, aye, but I remind you, sir, we still have business in hand, spoke the squire. Indeed, now what would keepers have me do? Pike, sir, you thought you might spare the time of day explaining such pretty matters as about much, as much, as must trouble our spoiled sailors. Have a way to land, where to leave the goods and the things. Well, ah, as for delivery, tis the church on the cliff top. Likely, eh? Pike, most suitable. But who will receive our goods, sir? Squire, it was to be in the church warden, but he is most foully murdered by renegades. Pike, but where are we to beach our boat, sir? Squire, I know, ah, now I think it best be, it best we, if we, interrupted as Birch dragged Polly into the study. Why, good heavens, this one's one of the very renegades who slew poor Longford. How did you escape? Well done, Birch. Pretty well done, I think. I came with my own free will, Squire. So, uh, you go, may go, Birch. Polly, I came here to tell you what we what we found. Polly recognized his cherub. Polly, you're the one that kidnapped the doctor. Pike's cabin. Jeremy Aker watches with suspicion. As the doctor approaches Keepia, and he speaks softly, Doctor. Tell me about your, my friends, keep here. It's all bad news, sir. Doctor, why? Is there trouble? Keep here. Aye, they're taken for trial for the murder of the church warden, which was done by cherub, sir. Doctor, oh, good gracious. You must escape from here. 
and help them. Keep an eye, but but not only for the sake of your friends, sir, but for the sake of the whole village yonder. Doctor, but I don't understand you. Keep a pike is the deadliest pie that ever lies, sir. No one's ever seen the deadly hook and lived. Doctor, oh yes, I quite agree. A somewhat violent man. Keeper, why did he not take at you, sir? Doctor, because he thought I would have held the secret of treasure belonging to the deceased pirate Ivory. Keeper, Ivory's gold? Married ashore? Doctor, oh yes, he determined to get it. Apparently, Churchill knew something about it. Keep here. The pikes have it, sir. A raise a village to the ground. The finding of it. Doctor, but the officers of law. Keep it away. No, they don't match. The pikes men, sir. Once he ate his pans, we in the village are lost. We must get back to word to them, sir. So, yes, I think I agree. Well, well bear with me. I have a plan. The doctor raised his voice. Doctor, uh, tell me, sir, uh, you play cards? Squire studies, Squire. I don't believe one word of this trumped up story. Not a lot, cherub. Such a sweet young face, and yet so wicked. Pike, it smacks of the trap, I, Mr. Cherub. Cherub, indeed, it does, Captain. Very dangerous, Polly. But we were innocent, and we took the, each took the doctor, Polly. Pike, I ain't done sick of bald wear upon. Well, I need a show of bones. Polly, I don't know what, but you took him. I won't be surprised if you didn't have, have a hand and the killing of church one too. Squire, cease of these vows and truth, boy. You gentlemen are godly merchants. I vouch for them. Are you a stranger here as your companion, and therefore not to be trusted? Polly, but we, we haven't done anything. Squire, man is dead, boy. Polly, we left him alive. Squire, oh, then you do speak for him. That's a damning fact indeed, Pike. Out of the mouths of base, are ye? Pike, are ye? Young people are not what they were once, not in our time. Are ye, Master Cherub? Cherub, indeed not, Cap- Captain. Very wicked. Square, now for this poor fellow, is your is you captured? I, do, I know not. Pike, might you not be, not be one of our mutual friends, Squire, a revenue officer? Well, I, I indeed, it could be so. So then, perhaps we should fall in with this young rogue's pot of purpose. Pike, yes, we capture this villain's accomplice and let our man free. Chirp, that that would be would be at best. Pike, Squire, you're being a fool. These men are villains. Pike, oh come, come, lad, you. We look like looks a black hearty chirp. Time short if we were to prepare. Squire, I arrive this very minute. And t- take our prize of us, Pike Squire. Do you think this lad will be should be restrained a little, just in case of misfortune, Squire? Aye, I do. A therapy thought, Captain Pike. Here's a call, Cherub. And he was silent, struggling furiously. Body is bound and gagged. Church crypt. Spain returns from the secret passage, delighted of what he has discovered. Ben, what a turn! Up for the books. Well, you didn't. You didn't know what kind of good turn you done me, mate. Blake, I do not. I do not share your joyous feeling, boy. Untie me, I say. Ben, the passageway leads right down to the beach of right? the very spot we were looking for. Blake, aye, boy. You one of those smuggling rogues after? You one of those smuggling rogues after all, Ben? No, of course not. It leads right down there to where the TARDIS is. Blake, the TARDIS? What's that? A ship? Ben, well, sort of. You wouldn't understand. Anyway, it is already. If it is, if it is already for us to get away, the only I can find the the others. We could all escape. Blake, our oh, escape. Ben, yes, escape. Squire, it sends the steps into the script. Squire, stand for us. I say there. Ben and I am chirp behind him. Ben, Polly, and you, Squire, we captured again, her boy. So we have no more tricks this time. Drawing his pistol, Squire advances on Ben.